Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you the first part of my eBay haul. Um, it's a big, a big haul, so it has to be split into three parts. Uh, the reason being is because otherwise it's going to be a long video, and also um, you know you could just pick and choose which part you wanna see. Like the first part I'll be doing will be clothes and misc. So I'm starting with like the less important stuff. Uh, and, then, and then I'll be carrying on into into part 2, part 3, which would be figures and, you know, games like PS2, PS4, PS3, and a PSP game. But first I'm going to show you the clothes and the misc. Now, I purchased all of these eBay items um, between uh, August and October last year. So, hence why it's long overdue and I just wanted, I just needed to do it today. So gonna go ahead and do it. So the I, so the first thing I'll show you, I have six uh, items of clothing that I bought and about four misc items, so ten items overall. So the first thing I want to show you that I have is this like gothic type top, which is from Necessary Evil. So you can see it's got like a little um, coarsity effect on here. And it's netted, it's partly netted, you know, with this long sleeves, and it's like got a uh, cowl neck thing going on here. As it says, it's got necessary evil. So you can see it properly. Um, when I first saw on first saw on eBay, I thought it was a uh, like a hood, um, because it actually looked like it was going to be a hood, but it's not. Um, this is also like an oversized top really is an extra large but it, it doesn't really matter to me because um, you know I quite like oversized things sometimes so that I love the um, long sleeve bit here it's nice so this cost uh, 16 pounds um, because this because necessary evil are quite I'm not sure if they're an expensive brand I know they are proper good gothic branding but that's the first thing I got. Um, I was quite disappointed. It doesn't obviously doesn't really fit me that well because it's oversized. But you know, it's good to wear in like you know cold months and stuff like that, and going out. And I really like the the corseting, corseting on the front as well. It's nice. Um, yeah. So that's the first thing. Second thing I got is also in theme the black, and it is by. Um, Millie Macintosh. It is a cold shoulder lace top. I don't know if you can see it well, but it's got um, a like a lace sleeve, obviously a cold shoulder thing, and these really uh, stand out lace sleeves, which was the main reason why I wanted it. Um, so the idea is obviously a cold shoulder thing going on. Hangs out like this. Um, Millie Macintosh. So this cost around, I think only ten pounds. Um, I haven't, I haven't worn it out yet, but I will do. I just obviously the main thing is these lace sleeves. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you what it looks, what all these clothing items look like. So that costs ten pounds, and one thing, uh, the other thing that is red that I have is a fishnet top. A, it looks very red on camera. Fishnets here and a little um, cover up, and the front. It's actually it's actually looks handmade there's no branding in in here there's no um label it's got like ribbon uh you know ribbon straps so this cost um so it's a red fishnet cold shoulder top and it cost 14 pounds i was the only one to bid for it <laughs> quite happy for the standout thing is not only the the ribbon strapping but the fishnet which is nice this is a small i think uh, I think that's what it said, it was a small. Yeah, I love the fish netting design on there. But yeah, it's nice. It's, I wanted I wanted to buy something that wasn't just black, so I wanted to buy you know, something that's like either purple or you know red like this. Next thing I got in top wise, the last top I got is relating to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is one of my favourite TV shows. <clears throat> uh, it says Sunnydale High School... Um, Slayer Club of 97. So I think when I started watching this I was, I don't know, I think I was like 10 or something and the first um, the first episode on BBC 
as this is the first ever like buffy item that I have. Um, it's a small and it is branding there. This is I know this looks official, but I, but in clo in closeness it actually looks like it's like printed on there. So see it's got like the Fox logo on there and it is 2018 copyright. 20 cents to entry Fox. And I really like this one. They did have a red one and did have and a um darker grey one, but I wanted the lighter grey one so the images can stand out more. Uh, the back doesn't have anything on it, which is a shame. I would have liked if they had something on the back, like wings or something like that, you know, angel wings. Anyway. Uh, the last, well, one of the last things I have is leggings. Yes, I did say that my the punk wave leggings were going to be the penultimate leggings I would get. But since they they were like, you know, wet leather, you can't really wear them all year round because you get hot. Well, you can't wear them in the summer. So these are the, I promise you, this is, these are going to be the last leggings that I'll get. Um, I love these. These got really like punky kind of style. Um, got like a symmetric little designs going on there. They got D-wings, which I like, zips on there. I would have liked it if they, if like the zips on here would have replicated to the other side. But it doesn't matter. And it's got a little like mesh bits here, you know, see-through mesh bits, which is nice, just like my other Necessary Evil top. And also, I would have liked it if they had some sort of design at the back, sort of re replicate the whole thing on the whole zips and everything on the back, which is a shame, but none of the, none of the leggings anywhere have designs on the back. I know that um, you see things on the front, no, no one sees your back, uh, just the front. But I really would like it in like, you know, tops in the future and also trousers actually have the same thing at the back so people can look at it. That's just the negative I have about it. Um, I haven't heard of the design of the company before, it's Chemical Black. Um, I don't know, it's a size small, it's the smallest size that I, that I could get. Um, they didn't have an extra small, they only had like a small, medium, large, extra large available, so the extra small. This is, this is small. It fits nicely. I would have liked it if it was more tight. Um, I am very thin in my waist area and my legs, so I would have liked it even more tight, but it does fit nicely anyway. Um, I also came with this little um, little uh, label thing, which you can post it on Instagram. Like you could post the Im you know you wearing it on Instagram or like any social media, Twitter or Facebook, whatever. And then like refunds, exchanges, problems with your order, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, <coughs> I've had th th this is a bit uh, a bit flimsy now because I've had it for a few months, and I, I couldn't do my eBay order, eBay video until now. So on to the last two items, jacket. I've been looking for lace jackets for a while. Um, so this is it. They did have another one on eBay, but it cost like twenty five quid, and even then the image didn't show everything, either the back or the front or the inside. So this is a lace top, it is a um, black lace jacket, £8 from Amizu, I don't know what that brand is. It is, even though it said it was going to be a large or a size 14, it's a size 10 and it fits me nice and it fits the person who was selling it, it fitted her nicely as well. So that's why she said that it would fit a size 10. So we've got zips, oh, go this up here, and then it's lace throughout, except for the cuffs here, which is my favourite bit. It has a little zip on the sides, and the back isn't lace, part of it isn't lace, which is nice. Um, the back actually match. it's not full length, but it actually matches the little like fishbone um, vest that I have, which I could with my lace vest, which I sh which I showed you in my last. Uh, it, um, charity shop haul, which had this like fish, um, fish bone detailing on the back of the uh, coat. That's nice. I have worn this out a few times. I really do like it. The only thing I don't like is the ha the way it zips up. I'm not a fan of the way it zips up like that. And also the collar. It just reminds me of a little. Uh, well, the collar is it's flimsy. 
but it reminds me of you know how you know grandmas wear their coats like that but anyway still like it the last thing I want to show you was the coat which um, it was the main the main thing I'm just so glad that I got and it is from Vixen it's a um, Vixen coat slash dress it's so small 20, 24 pounds um, she did this girl from London did actually advertise it as a dress but it but you know it's like a coat dress jacket thing it's like a trench coat I won't be able to display it properly but it's got these if you can hear it it's got a buckle around it a little strap around it and it's got little lacing details and a hood a big ass hood which is cool and there's that's the proof for you it's got fixin size s so yeah I'll, I'll you know I'll try all these on for you in like little videos and stuff so you can show them so that's all the clothing items and now I'm going to move on to the misc items there's only a few so the first thing I got is two plushes one is from Digimon uh, he, uh, the, he costs only a pound I remember actually watching Di the Digimon when I was really small but only vaguely um, so I'm thankful that I still remember Patamon uh, I didn't realise that uh, when I when I didn't realise it was a keychain because uh, this person on eBay was very clever in disguising that it was like a keychain, um, but that doesn't matter. It's like from like a Japanese like Japanese um, crane machine. This little thing here, little uh, label. So it's got tie and uh, so it's, it's all Japanese. I've kept the tag. Um, it's all Japanese. It's like from Crane King. Um, so yeah, that's how it went from. Uh, these little hands, arms were actually super glued together, but I took them off because um, I wanted it to look like a three, like a three D look rather than just like a two D kind of deal. But yeah, it's very soft, very good quality as well. Um, you can actually move his ears and stuff, and yeah, it's very cute. I really do like him. It's very soft and everything. Like these good quality plushes are. And the last plush I got is a Moncino Pokemon plush. Again, good quality, like my other Pokemon plushes, my other um, Pan Sage and Drillba. The same sort of quality. It's about £3, I think, but anyway. Obviously, all these plushes are very expensive online, on eBay as well, because um, obviously they're Pokemon, so Pokemon's just relevant, <laughs> you know, every, with everyone got the label as you know you know these quality um when i got the packaging um he was very well wrapped in all this bubble wrap and for that reason alone just maybe not want to um purchase like you know plushes or books from ebay because or figures because they just come with a ton load of packaging a ton load of bubble wrap and in at the end i just had to give it away to the charity shop so they can use it for wrapping that's the main reason. Um, I didn't realise, I didn't know what kind of animal this was when, when I was playing the game. And also when I got him, uh, weirdly enough, when I unwrapped him, I took, took a moment to observe what kind of animal, kind of think what kind of animal Machino is, was. And I thought, oh yeah, it's chinchilla. It's very apt because I actually own chinchillas. Um, yeah, I love his tail as a main feature. Love his little ears as well. And the last thing I got, miscellaneous wise, is a big ass guide. Resonance of Fate. Uh, again, with the whole packaging thing, it did come with a load of bubble wrap. At first, I thought it came in like a big cardboard box, which obviously made me think it was something else that I got from eBay, but it wasn't. It was just this little book. Well, well, big book really, but. You know, just this one thing that came in a ton load of bubble wrap, and it was like it's like pass parcel again, really, where where it stops at a person, and they un when the music stops, then you unwrap it and wrap the first layer, just like that. But instead of passing a lot of people, we just wrap and wrap all the layers, and you just find it's just a little thing. So this is Resonance of Fate. This costs twenty pounds, and I know this costs twenty pounds in the USA and a bit more expensive in Canada. But I knew that I wanted this guide because I own the game. I got the game back in CX, back in... I can't remember if it was last summer or the summer before. But I knew that I 
um, would need help because I knew it was going to be a difficult tactic game, which I'm not used to. But yeah, it's got all like full, fully coloured images and everything, and all the little, you know, what guides are. Um, I also went the Final Fantasy Ten and Ten, like Final Fantasy Ten Two guide, uh, even though I probably won't need it because um, I guess it's quite a simple, easy game. I'm sure. Um, yeah, good little pick up. Um, haven't started the game yet, but um, I'm very much sure I'll need this. So yeah, that's my clothing and misc items out of the way, and in my next video I'll be doing part two, which will be figures. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, comment down below what your favourite item was, and like and subscribe if you'd like to, and I'll see you in the next part.